The funeral director, Scott Resner. The king of the dead. Brad Savage. director jump up on the ring up on the ring apron he can do whatever he wants because there is no count outs there is no disqualification the only anything rule, goes anything goes the only rule of this match is to put your opponent in the casket in that casket and close the lid close the lid that's all you have to do and i mean that and the thing is these types of matches casket match coffin match sarcophagus match whatever you want to call it these matches are so dangerous. Yes. And, and, and a lot of people don't understand that. They, that's the reason why they are, are not signed out on by management for the very reason that once you go in that coffin and that lid closes, it's airtight. Oh, yeah. You're done. No air is getting in. Yes. No, no air. air is getting out. There is the, no liability for that right there. That is the own your own kind of match. Oh, I know. I, I can guarantee you that the SLW office had both men sign, you know, waivers, contracts, phone book signed yes. contracts and waivers, addending them from having to do anything with this. Oh yeah. And you got to wonder. It's a matter of time before the field director injects himself into this match. Because he has such a grudge, such a vendetta, such oh, yeah. hatred for Johnny Slaughter. I mean, and and Savage is the perfect man, exactly, perfect man to do Scott Resner's dirty work. I mean, he may just be yes, because okay. when you're a gentleman such as the funeral director, and I use that term loosely, yes. gentlemen, 
you know, you you align yourself with those who share that same darkness oh, yeah. in, in their heart as you do. And right there, Brad Savage is the darkest of the dark. I would I would I would even uh, say that there might not even be a heart in Brad Savage. If it is, it's blacker than black. Uh -uh. I mean this is the kind of match, this is the kind of darkness and evilness that Brad Savage loves. You saw him come out and just hug the casket. Lo I mean, just it's, it's it's like as if it was a lover and or you just, a, a friend. And we just saw exactly. He exactly. was trying. Uh, Johnny Slaughter was trying to close the match. Close the casket. Yep. Close the casket. And, and and as you can see, both Bobby Matthews, Noah Howell at ringside. The only the only job they have is to open the open lid. Open and close. No, just open it. Open it, yeah. Because remember, you have to close it. You have to home. close it, that's right. Yes. Yeah. So that's that's their only job. There's nothing they can do. If if the field director wants to repeatedly jab his cane into the ribs of Johnny Slaughter, he can. If Brad Savage wants to take a chair and flatten the head of Johnny Slaughter, he you can. can. Do it. Yes. You can do it. You do whatever you have to take to render your opponent lifeless or unconscious or whatever you have to do to put them in that casket. Right. Brad Savage is, is, is taking it to Johnny Slaughter. Johnny Slaughter getting a win back in his sails again. Oh! oh nice one-footed drop kick by Johnny Slaughter. But is it enough? Yes. I mean, and we talked about Brad Savage being almost right there in the Hoss division. I mean, he is a stout, stout, strong man. I mean, just broad across the shoulders. Yeah. And he and has got so much power, and, and he exactly, doesn't. Exactly. He doesn't quit. And that's the thing is, I would, I would, I would place a bet on saying that Brad Savage probably the strongest man in the SLW locker room. Yeah. Right. And the and the table, the table was built tonight for this match to hold those two big guys, just in case which, whoever did win. Oh yeah, reinforced, reinforced table, reinforced casket. Brad Savage, what's he doing? What's he doing? He's going Grabbing for a, a chair. chair. Going for a chair, which he can do. It just Johnny Slaughter sandwiched between the lid. And that body of that coffin. Oh! Brad Savage just beating the lid down and trying to beat the lid closed on Johnny Slaughter. And the lid just and the broke, lid off. broke. So how do we have a winner I, tonight? I guess it's Bobby Matthews and Noah Howell both just confused. But it's simple though. The lid, all you still gotta do is put the lid on the casket. Yeah. That's all you gotta do. I guess the way things are going now, it's going to be an open casket. Open here. casket match. There we go. Johnny right now, fighting back. Johnny Slaughter fighting back. All we see is legs coming out of the casket. The funeral director just frustrated. He is hot and heavy and mad throwing his jacket. I mean, he paid. I can almost and that jacket. That he, well, I can almost surmise that he paid a hefty sum to Brad Savage to take out Johnny Slaughter. Oh, yeah. I mean, we got a broke casket, so I mean, I wonder how. How do we? Johnny Slaughter just fighting his way out of the casket, fighting his way back to his feet. Oh! Nice suplex by Johnny Slaughter. Oh, and a back body drop. <coughs> Johnny Slaughter just... Huge back drop. Huge back drop. Johnny Slaughter, I'm trying to get, to get another bird's eye view of the match. The we got broken pieces of, uh, of caskets trying to put together. The funeral director running around, doing what he can to encourage his charge to defeat oh. Johnny Slaughter. He is, right now, John, Scott Reznor is undoing one of the turn turnbuckles. What? Loosening the, the ropes. What is he doing? Who knows? Who knows what is going through that mind of the funeral director, Scott Reznor? 
senior referee Bobby Matthews is trying to get over there. But that, Bobby Matthews can't do anything. But, but that's right, Bobby. I mean, you can't do anything. It's no it disqualification, is. no count out, no rules. Well, one rule. Close the casket. The casket. See, if I could paraphrase the movie Jaws, body goes in the casket, lid gets closed. That's it. He is taking. He Young is taking the, the ring road. apart. Trying to figure out what Scott Reznor is doing. Oh! Brad Savage hitting Johnny Slaughter. Oh, my God. With the turn, the loose turn signal, turnbuckle that Scott Reznor undid. And hitting. Scott Reznor is in the ring. Oh! End of days. Oh, my God. Just hitting him with that, that steel hook, that connect. The turnbuckle to the oh. post. And, then hitting and the funeral director still has the cane in his hand. What's what's, what's what's he doing? He is calling for another casket. What's the funeral director? Scott Rester is calling for another casket. Is that what he's doing? I don't know what is going on. There is total melee. It is just chaos. Brad King just biting the head of Johnny Slaughter. Just, just gnawing away on the forehead. You know, Brad Savage, King of the Dead. What is, oh, is that another casket? Ladies and gentlemen, we have another casket being brought to the ring. Is, is this the official casket that we had last week? I, I, don't, I mean, who knows? I mean, the... The casket that was brought to ringside originally has been decimated, been deemed unusable, and the funeral director being who he is. He wants that casket. And he has a backup plan. Oh, another end of days. Another end of days, and, they, and now we have another casket being They're brought in. directly into the ring. Brad Savage saying it's over. Oh my God, ladies and gentlemen. Is it going to be the end of Johnny Slaughter? Brad Savage lifting the lid of that casket. The crowd getting behind Johnny Slaughter of the night. They're setting it up into position. Is this the end of Johnny Slaughter? Both doors are open. Oh, that lid is open indeed, Eric. And they want, Scott wants him in that casket right Real now. Funeral director directing Brad Savage to dispose of the body, the carcass that has become Johnny Slaughter. Whoa! Oh. Johnny Slaughter, stop it. There is, legs the there is fighting legs coming out of that casket, ladies Johnny and gentlemen. Johnny Slaughter fighting back will not die. Will not be Will closed. not, yeah, that's right. Whoa! Oh! Using the funeral director's cane against himself. Oh, and oh. now leveling Brad Savage with it. Johnny Slaughter has turned this match around. The lid is... I think the lid is closed from this angle. Maybe, what? no, it's, oh, he is on the casket. He's on the casket? He is on the casket, ladies and gentlemen. What has Johnny Slaughter got in mind? He is. Uh, I mean, the fans are on their feet. Is Johnny Slaughter climbing the top rope? He is climbing. What is he going to do? Eric, you don't think he is. He's calling for it. Is he going to do it, ladies and no. gentlemen? No! Johnny Slaughter lining it up. Oh! oh. Driving the elbow into the Oh, my Brad God! Savage. Brad I'm, Savage was on the casket. I'm surprised he didn't go through the casket. Holy crap! Are we sure he didn't go through the casket? 
from what I can tell. Referee Noah Howell sliding in, checking on both men. I mean, you have to at some point realize that the referees need to take in the safety, the account, account of the safety of both and this is what we talked about tonight with this, this match. Johnny Slaughter calling for the, the other coffin. The other coffin. The original coffin to be, to be open, and he's rolling the body of the King of the Dead into the casket. It's, it's mathematical. All it has to do is be closed. Is he? Does he have it? What is the King If of he the can close that door, it's a winner. Well, the King of the Dead is still fighting back. Yeah! Oh my goodness, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner. Gianni Slaughter.